24-year-old Talha made the switch to e-cigarettes last year, thinking it would help him stop smoking cigarettes. But vaping quickly became a nightmare for him, as he is now dealing with oral cuts and minor damage in his lungs. Honestly, I just wanted to come across as a cool guy, but over the time, I realized my mouth was running dry, my throat was irritated. I started to develop oral cuts. I stopped using e-cigarettes and vapes when I started to have serious pain in my chest. Health experts warn the idea that e-cigarettes are a healthier alternative to regular smoking is a misconception. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has confirmed at least 37 deaths and more than 1,800 lung injuries are linked to e-cigarettes. Investigators are looking into whether chemicals used in vaping may be to blame. Experts in Pakistan add, as long as nicotine present, vaping is a health hazard. The worst cases I am seeing are that of mouth ulcers and severe throat infections that can become cancerous any minute. While Pakistan has been banning tobacco advertisements on TV, print media and other platforms since 2005, it is reported that Pakistan is leading its neighboring South Asian countries in cigarette consumption. However, these regulations do not yet apply to vaping. We all know smoking cigarettes is not okay, may it be e-cigarettes or otherwise. But we have to watch these developments closely. We have initiated a study into this too, so we can know the extent of the damage these alternates can cause. We hope to bring the legislation by the end of November. In United States, 13 states have banned usage of e-cigarettes in public areas. Pakistan might soon introduce its own legislation to tackle vaping. Talha and others urge the government start awareness campaigns to warn of the health risks. Githi Arani's VOA News, Islamabad.